Yo what is up guys my name is Hacky and in this video I'm gonna show you the best 100% solo money making guide in GTA 5 online. This can all be done completely by yourself in an invite only or solo public session. Now if this goes on to help you out be sure to drop a like that'd be awesome. Also if you're new to the channel go ahead and drop a sub so you never miss any more awesome videos like these. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell while you're at it too and let's get straight into it. So to start off call in your terabyte through the interaction menu. Now if you don't have the terabyte that's completely fine there's gonna be many different different things later on that you guys probably have a lot of you guys are gonna have these things just as an example like the MOC so once going in your terabyte just register as an MC president or a CEO whichever one you want and then press right on the d-pad to access the touch screen and then a really good one to do is some client jobs now there's a couple of different ones that are good to do all of them pay roughly the same amount like the robbery in progress is a pretty good one diamond shopping is pretty good too and they're all relatively easy as well so just as an example I'm gonna be doing the robbery in progress one and now we're going to need to go back in the touch screen and see which bank is getting robbed. So using the right d-pad we're going to scroll through the banks and see whichever one's getting robbed. Then we're going to press A or X to hack into the bank system and once you've seen this you can go ahead and exit and head to that bank and if you have a vehicle like a helicopter preferably a weaponized helicopter or maybe an oppressor mark 2 or oppressor mark 1 that's going to help you out a lot with these types of jobs. Not only one to get you from point A to point B really fast but also a weaponized one is going to make this super easy and then just go ahead and take this guy out and then collect the duffel bag on them. And then if you're doing this specific one, you guys want to take your oppressor or helicopter or whatever and get out of here quick and then just lose the cops. I'm pretty sure you could just call Esther to lose them. So yeah, you could just remove your wanted level so it's that easy and then just go ahead and deliver it to the drop off. And this is a good strategy to make quick and easy money. Like this is super easy and super quick once again, especially if you have a helpful vehicle like this. I mean, 31k is a really good payout considering this took me barely two or three minutes to finish total. Basically, this one's aimed more towards making a couple couple 10,000 within a few minutes and you're gonna notice after doing one of the client jobs you're gonna have a cooldown timer on it so meanwhile we're gonna do another really good mission and same thing with this one if you have an oppressor mark 2 or an oppressor mark 1 or weaponized helicopter that's gonna make this a lot easier so for this next one we're gonna need to retire from being an MC president and become a CEO so if you weren't already a CEO go ahead and register as a CEO then we're gonna go into the secure serve menu we're gonna go into VIP work the ones I highly recommend you guys do is either headhunt hostile takeover or sightseer these three specifically are really good to do so pick whichever one you want to do they're all relatively easy and pretty straightforward so just as an example I'm gonna do sightseer then it's gonna say use the sightseer app to find the next package so pull up your phone for this one and we're gonna go to the app on the bottom right and open that and then we're just gonna do this little quick hack thing just stop on the red letters pretty much you just need to focus a tiny bit and then you're all good to go so we have three packages to collect and we're gonna get to them in absolutely no time if we have a vehicle like this and my oppressor is actually smoking that's not very good but we're just gonna retrieve this package real quick no one's really gonna shoot us here it looks like and then just get back to your vehicle and just go back in the sightseer app and this one's pretty straightforward too you just line it up on the red line basically oh oh that was so clean you might mess up on those but if you do i mean that's no big deal honestly and from my experience in these vip work missions they're not going to be too far away like all the packages and all the things you need to get done basically in those missions so now we got the second one now we're going to go back into the sightseer app one more time and now we need to find this specific digit this final package is a little bit outside the city but as you guys can see it's not too far away so we're all good it's going to take absolutely no time getting there with an oppressor or a helicopter a Hydra I guess would also be pretty good for this since you can hover with it and you can safely land with it. So we're just gonna land on here real quick, collect the last package, and there you go. We just got a quick $21,500. That only took a couple minutes to do, if that, maybe like a few minutes only. And we got a few 10,000. So just like that, we got over $50,000 in just a couple minutes. And so once you do a job in the VIP work, you're gonna get a five minute cooldown, which is honestly nothing. So I guess you guys can go back into the client jobs in the terabyte and then do one of those. So basically you guys can switch off doing these two they're both really good methods to make quick and easy money it's not as much money as we're gonna make later on but it is extremely quick and extremely easy and you could just switch off between them since you have a timer on one you could just do the other one and vice versa let's say you don't have the terabyte and you're buying it for the first time it costs about 1.3 million i think it's gonna be worth it in the long run since you're gonna use this for these money methods because the client jobs are so worth it to do they're super easy so doing these money methods you're gonna get the 1.3 million 
million back in no time really and you can almost look at it as sort of like an investment moving on to the next method we're going to be using the auto shop now the auto shop's a great way of making money especially since you can do these solo when you first start off it's going to give you a bunch of contract options on this job board so select whichever one you want really you can see how much it pays you at the end and let me check what the cheapest auto shop you can get is 1.67 1.9 i have this one right in the center of the city i'm pretty sure it's a little bit more expensive once you guys get some money if you want to switch your auto shop to a different location you can do that and it doesn't cost that much money but the cheapest one is this one for just under 1.7 million it's really another investment type thing i personally think it's worth it and so once you go and choose a contract on the job board you're going to need to do two setups now they're both really easy and straightforward and after doing two setups you're going to get this like mini heist type thing it's not like a super serious and big heist it definitely takes a lot less time than the big heist like the Cayo Perico and Diamond Casino and the Doomsday Heist so these are basically like mini heists you can say at least that's what I like to call them so after completing the two quick setups you're gonna go ahead and start up the mini heist so I got the super dollar deal and as you guys can see once again you can do these completely solo you don't need anyone else to do these and just like the setups these are really straightforward the only bad thing about this is you're gonna need to listen to Sasanta and KDJ like rambling on and on and on but it's basically gonna tell you to go somewhere and then you just head to that location and do whatever I guess you can just mute your headset while you're playing this heist because the Santa and KDJ will just not stop talking now the final method we're gonna go over and it's gonna make you by far the most money out of this and that's gonna be the Kyle Perico heist now the thing that's crazy with the Kyle Perico heist is you can make so much money completely solo if you didn't know all the setups and the heist itself you can do solo which is actually a really good thing I don't think that's an option with the doomsday heist and the diamond casino heist and all those now the only requirement for it is having a submarine if you don't have the Kosaka it costs I think just over two million dollars but it's well worth it I mean the Kosaka itself is a great vehicle to have it's a really cool property to have and I mean you can start up the best paying heist in the game which is a huge plus so it's safe to say you're gonna be making your money back and a lot more than that just go into the planning screen and you're gonna have some preps to do they honestly don't take that long and after doing those you'll unlock the final heist as you can see in the gameplay I got a friend in with me but you can do it completely solo if you wanted to and the thing that's really important with the Kyle Perico heist is you need to know how to do it there's a lot of people that do it but don't really know like what to do and like the best strategies to do in the heist itself so I would suggest to actually take time to learn how to do the heist the best and fastest possible way if you want to look up some walkthroughs for the Kyle Perico heist on how to do it most efficiently you can do that by learning how to play the heist properly you can make the most amount of money as well because it really varies how much money you get from the heist but I mean you could potentially make millions after only doing it one time but obviously you want to do it over and over and over again this wouldn't really be a part of this guide but if you do have a friend that has the Kyle Perico heist that's willing to walk you through it, that could be a good idea or if you just want to watch walkthroughs on it hopefully this guide did help the solo warriors out there I mean the hacky army is awesome at helping each other out so if you guys want to go in the comments and see if you can help one another you can with different jobs and missions and heists so you really don't have to be a solo but if you do come across a time where you have no friends online and you can't really find anybody to play with with. these would be the best strategies to make money completely alone anyway though i hope you all did go on to enjoy this video hopefully it did go on to help you out if it did drop a like on it subscribe if you guys are new turn on the notification bell as well anyway though this has been hacky have a good rest of your day i'll see you guys in the next video and peace